Hey guys, Pete here. Today I'm going to do a preview of Yellow Jacket Season 2 Episode 7, which is titled Burial. They finally released a teaser trailer. There are a ton of promo photos to look through, and also a full clip that is pretty crazy. If any of that sounds like spoilers, then this video won't be for you. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. The descriptions for this season's episodes just sort of keep getting crazier. This one for 207 reads, Sometimes the best therapy is cranking the hits to 11. So today, we're exploring the hardcore kid care revival movement. 11 o'clock theatrical birdcore numbers. Some late hits of the Renovation Wave era. Call us about a spinoff HGTV. Flower duets. And a classic live record. Out in the wilderness, Coach Scott does a great Carl Havoc impression for an unimpressed Misty. There are only a couple of things that I'll mention because a lot of this sounds like it's in the voice of a joke I'm not in on. Birdcore definitely makes me think of Misty, though. And in the trailer, there is this exciting shot of her coming out of a sensory deprivation tank at night. I imagine she'll go on a little trip while she's in there, and we'll finally get to see what that Twin Peaks imagery in the opening credits is all about, and how the human actor they cast as Caligula fits into things. In a lot of ways, Misty is the yellow jacket that seems to be the least likely to hallucinate, so I think this will be awesome. The classic live record reference is probably connected to the song we hear in the MTV clip, which for my money is one of the most annoying pop songs of the era. No offense intended if you dig it, but this was one of those songs that had jingle vibes because it would get stuck in your head despite the fact that you didn't like it. And it was so popular that if you went anywhere in the mid-90s, there was a chance it might infect your brain. The song title is Lightning Crashes, and it's by the band Live if you were wondering what the adult Yellow Jackets were starting to dance to at their reunion at Lottie's Compound. The Carl Havoc thing is somewhat concerning. The trailer ends with a teary-eyed shot of Coach Ben out in the wilderness. My first impression was that he might be at the poop bucket spot because Misty's there and it looks like they might be on the edge of that cliff. Given that and his disassociation of late, I wondered if he might be thinking about taking the plunge and ending his life. There are a few promo photos of him looking around where he still has the beard, and he just kind of looks like he's not blending in with anyone anymore. Then there are a couple where he's shaving, and it makes me wonder what is he getting ready for? Cleaning up for the wilderness baby burial? I mean, maybe. But this mention of Carl Havoc is pretty direct. This is a reference to a sketch on the comedy show I Think You Should Leave with Tim Robinson. In that, he puts on a bunch of prosthetics and makeup to go out and film himself bothering people at the mall. Once he gets there, it takes a turn, and after refusing to go through with the bit, he tells his producer, I don't even want to be around anymore. That's the part that's become a reaction image, so that makes it sound like Ben is in a pretty bad spot and might need Misty to talk him down. Where they're at also complicates things, since Kristen slash Crystal's body should be right there where she fell. But that could also be hidden due to the snowstorm. I don't think that's a given that he would discover or see her there. With all the visions that are otherwise going nowhere, it has felt like Ben was on his way out. And I think there's at least a 50-50 chance of him not making out of this season. Weirdly, there's one detail out there that makes me think he could survive. One of the big shots from the season 2 trailer we're yet to see is the one where they're carrying the body on a stick. Based on the shoes that we can see, we can say for sure that that's not Crystal. And the fact that there are two of them would also rule Ben out. I said at the end of my episode 6 video that I think losing the baby sets up a dark turn for the team because they don't have the expectation of his birth, of his coming, that was something that brought them together as a group. I think it would be natural for things to go off the rails, but adding Ben to the body count on top of whoever is on the stick might be overkill. I do still think that things will get dark though, which is why some of these promo photos are surprising at first glance. There are several shots of them outside the cabin where people look to be doing okay. 
There's shots of Ty and Van being in love, and even one where Mari has a big smile on her face. It gives the sense that even though this terrible tragedy happened, people are essentially moving on in their own ways. And I think that probably has something to do with what we see happen with Shauna in all of these clips. The teaser trailer opens with a voiceover where you hear Lottie say, I know there's a lot of pain right now, but let it out. We see that she has a bloody nose as she's saying that, and that seems to be connected to this episode 7 clip that was released by MTV. In that, we see Shauna first go after Misty, who's humming, and that sets her off for some reason. She goes after her and punches her in the face and starts screaming that she killed her baby. Nat steps between them to defend her first. Then Shauna starts talking about her dream and them being covered in blood. And you see Ty scream at her to stop because she's acting insane. Van tries to hold on to her and calm her down. And Shauna bites her hand and breaks free so that Lottie has to step in between. And after a stare down, Shauna punches her in the nose, which is where that blood came from. So it looks like after taking that shot, she stands back up and tells her to let the pain out, and apparently she does that. There were hints of this in other trailers, so Shauna going off is something I've been expecting to see, but this still looks kind of wild because it makes it look like she's just handing them out and like raining down punches. I guess the show has moved into the territory where it's not a given that what we see in trailers is real, but I'm guessing this actually happens considering Shauna's loss and the situation they're in not being conducive to being able to work her way through it in any sort of healthy way. It's pretty much the opposite of that, so a violent outburst isn't hard to imagine. And this twist of Lottie taking a shot and then essentially asking for more is interesting given the tensions that exist between them. It also makes me think back to the vision that Lottie had when Travis died. In that, there was a quick flash of a bloody face. And the most popular theory is that it was Lottie's face. It's covered in blood. It's so beat up, it's hard to say for sure that it is her. And it could certainly be the aftermath of this beating that Shauna is delivering here. Because in both the trailer and the clip, we see that she is throwing her hands around to say the least. After that, there's another shot of adult Lottie with her therapist saying, this is what it wants for us to be together. There's a shot of them sitting on the floor in a circle, then shots of them dancing around the fire outside, and one of them taking shots of what looks like tequila. In fact, in all of these shots, alcohol features prominently. The dancing certainly makes it look like there are a lot of strong feelings involved in the reunion, but mostly warm ones as opposed to the anger and paranoia in the cabin coming from Shauna. Nat asks who wants to get started, and adult Shauna, who has a bottle in her hand, says to be honest, I've already gotten started. Then Nat tells someone that she thinks it might be time to stop resisting, and I think she's probably talking to Lottie because she isn't in all these inside shots, but you do see her in most of them. Also, while she's saying that, there are a couple of shots of her by herself where she looks distressed, with a shot of the Antler Queen sitting in her psychiatrist's office. Considering this is a trailer, and the way it's cut could be misleading, I can't say for sure, but this could confirm that those therapy sessions are so weird because they're just not real. The theory that they only take place in her head is starting to look pretty good. One thing about all of these shots of the adults having a great time together, seeing them carry on and just having a fine time, is that I know what kind of show I'm watching, and that gives me concern about what will happen next. I feel like this state of bliss is not something that they'll be able to hold on to for very long, and wonder what the thing that will come along to knock them back down will be. After all, Shauna is under investigation, and for good reason, she did murder someone, and they all helped to destroy the body. Even though it hasn't been mentioned lately, Missy also murdered Jessica, who worked for Ty, who left her son while her wife's in the hospital because of a wreck she was responsible for. And then you have Van, who is either not planning for the future and losing her business because she's strung out on pills, or maybe she has the terminal illness that she said that her mother had that she hasn't mentioned to anyone, or both. And, and... Lottie and Nat are both having visions of the Antler Queen, which is all to say I guess they should live it up while they can. 
There are just a couple of unconnected shots in the trailer, and then I'll wrap this up. There's one of them where they're in a circle from below, and there are photos that look like they're connected to this. In the circle, Lottie looks like she's really trying hard to connect to the wilderness energy. So if I had to guess, I would say this might be a little ceremony before the ceremony for the funeral, where they could be a little bit more wilderness god friendly. There's a shot of adult Ty and Ban sitting together where it looks like she's moving in for a kiss. And then one of Shauna crying out, which is probably during the burial. I think that's probably a good place to leave things. Like this shot of adult Shauna holding a goat. There's a lot that makes you think here. There's a lot to think about. And there's only three episodes left, so I think things are going to get crazy. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.